How are we? I feel like I haven't picked up the camera in probably nearly a month, to be honest with you there. Two, so what I really wanted to do, because people ask me, oh, am I dead? Like, did steroids kill you? The answer's no, it hasn't killed me. <laughs> That's what I get, like, I get messages. Is steroids killing you? Where are you? Where have you been? Why are you not posting anymore? I've wanted to kind of take a step back for a moment. Be in the moment where I'm at and also build some momentum of what's going to happen moving forward. I call this the chapter two, stage two, whatever you want to fucking call it. Chapter, we'll call it chapter two, it sounds better. I'm going to document it and I wanted to kind of build a little bit momentum of that because I like when people are like, where's George, where's he gone? 7.49 in the old morning, look at that picture. That's a good picture that. I'm just starting my day. Well, I have, I got up at five, usual business, meal prep food, had first meal in the tank, filled up on some hydration, I had a two litres of water and meal ready. Bosh, straight down the old hatch. I always, it's like a competition for me in the morning. It's like, how much water could I get down me as quickly as I can? And normally I do like two litres in an hour and a half is usually pretty good for me. So that's been done and dusted. We then move on to the second part of the morning. I'm more productive in the morning, guys. I had a, I had an everyday paper round when I was 12, all the way through till I was 18. And it was one of those ones where you'd go to individual houses and you deliver a uh, piece of paper. You deliver newspapers. I don't know if people fucking buy newspapers anymore, if I'm honest with you. So I've been a very productive person in the morning. I've always been morning person. I don't get how people wake up at like 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's just never been me. So we're going to crack on with a little bit of journaling. And we're also going to crack on with our daily plan. I'm going to show you how I do that. Because I've been journaling, been rude. <coughs> I've got a fucking stinking cough as well. I had COVID last week. Fucking still recovering from it now. But I guess that's what happens when you don't get your fucking COVID jabs. You prick. Next time, get your COVID jabs, all right? Anyway, welcome back. Hope you enjoy the next chapter of the journey. And uh, it should be a good one. Because I'm very excited. Kin it. So every morning before I start the old work, get my journal out. I use a journal called Mind Journal. It's a really, really good one. Basically got broken down here, like how you feel, your intentions, your achievements, what you're grateful for, your happy hour. And then over on the right hand side, you can then write out kind of any sort of thoughts, emotions that you're going through right now. As well as that, we've got a daily planner. So I got this from Amazon and this is great for just knowing what your tasks are for the day, scheduling what you do by the hour, to-do list, personal, some notes as well. I need to be organized. I need to keep on top of this because because time is money, guys. Now, before we do anything, fucking bosh. This one's a strawberry watermelon bubble gum, Raymond ones. Very nice, probably my favorite. And then we have a swig. Stole this from Starbucks. You know them ones? Had to steal this from Starbucks because I wanted it at home. Espresso pod, it is golden caramel. Make sure you drink your coffees with straws, yeah? Because you fucking don't want to stain your teeth. And you got mangy yellow teeth in that. I've got mangy yellow teeth anyway. Probably when you last saw me, I'm still balding. Yeah, look at that. Fuck it out. People told me, go turkey, get a hair transplant. And you know what? Next year, I might do that. And I'll probably document that, because that'll be fucking good. But yeah, hairline's still tragic. Still trying to hold on to it with the Tudor 13th century haircut, as you guys know. Oh, I did uh, some reels on, on Instagram about pet peeves in the gym and God, go through the comments on them guys. Fucking people are calling me out. You think, fuck sake, why do I fucking have this haircut for? Why did I shave it off? But anyway, the show goes on. If you want to see that, go on my Instagram, George on 12 all links are down below. <sighs> right. Guys, how could I forget? We've got to set the scene before we do this shit, okay? We've got Bart Simpson smoking a fucking bong here. My G. He looks absolutely fucking crippled as well. Look at him. Look at those eyes. Man's had a good night. Throwback days. They are. I used to come into the gym like this. And people used to try and speak to me and I was like, <laughs> great. We'll do it again though. Might do. Anyway, let's get on with it, okay? Because I've fucking waffled for too long here about journaling and shit like that. Let's just get on, shut the fuck up, crack on with the video, Georgie boy, all right? Because you're doing my nutting. Look at this bald fucking head and his wrinkles. Look, 26, I look like that. Fucking sort it out, lad. Just finished my journal and I'm going to tell you what I wrote in it because your fam, you watching right now, we're together, you know? We're in this together. How do I feel today? I feel positive, I feel happy, I feel hopeful, I feel determined, I feel proud, I feel inspired, I'm quite eager, I'm tired though, I must admit I'm fucking tired, that's just a constant one for me, just tired all the time, grateful, and I feel quite calm, I feel quite relaxed right now, which is good. My intentions, what I want to achieve at this current point, upload this YouTube video, the one you're watching right now, I'm gonna fucking upload it, okay? Been holding back on it, been thinking when's the right time to upload this and that, gonna do it, do it now, if not when, no. I don't know what the saying is. <laughs> 
But by the end of the month, that should be exciting. I'm gonna vlog some Dubai stuff. I didn't vlog much when I was out there last time. Don't know why, but this time, I'm gonna keep on top of it, I promise you. Get some Dubai content, which will be fun. And then keep going, despite not wanting to. Sometimes I don't wanna keep going. Sometimes I just wanna give up. That's not gonna get me there. Giving up is just fucking for the weak-minded. Don't know if I should say that or not. <coughs> oh, fuck off. <coughs> I've not wanted to do this. After I've done it, I felt better. And I used to shit on people for fucking doing journaling, I thought, oh, it's hippie shit. You need to grow up a little bit, you need to man up. Ever since I'm doing it, I actually understand and appreciate the aspect of what journaling's about, because it reminds me of the little things in life. Things I am grateful for. Number one, Wiki motivated me to do this. I'm very grateful for that, because this morning I would just cracked on with work, and it would have been another day, another week without a YouTube video, but she told me to record your morning routine, record what you're doing. So, Wiki, I really appreciate that. I have healthy dogs. The dogs are very healthy. They enjoy life. I am gonna miss them for two weeks when we do go to Dubai, though. That's one thing that I'm a bit fucking sad about. I'm gonna make sure that they have loads of fun before we go, so it makes me feel a little bit better. Doing what I love for a job. Man wakes up and man don't even need to go to work. Man just goes to his fucking computer and does work when I want to do work. What a fucking life that is, eh? Imagine going to a job that you don't want to be doing, that you hate your fucking manager because you can't. Putting money in other people's pocket. Not for me, might be for you, isn't for me. My happy hour today is my massage. I just switch the fuck off. I don't do anything. I just close my eyes. Sometimes I fall asleep. Don't actually need this. You can just do this on a fucking one pound piece of paper if you really want to, or notepad, whatever. And you can write them things out. Do that every day. You'll switch your fucking nut on. Just that little check-in with yourself. I've just filled out today's plan of action. As you can see, I've broken it down from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And every hour, there's something that needs to be done. So this is great, guys. If you fucking struggle, yeah? If you struggle to have any time in your day to do anything, write it down. Like, write down what you've got to do and get it done. So my top three priorities today are upload this YouTube video, call the vets because we're going away and Diesel needs to go and get his checks before he goes in the kennels. Book Dubai. Fucking been leaving that for too long now. To-do list, speak to dad, Instagram post, TikTok post. Post, plan weekend out so we know what we're doing this weekend I'm going down to see my parents see the problem nowadays is everyone's got every excuse in the book I don't have enough time can't go to the gym can't get my steps in can't do my cardio are you breaking down your day and what are you doing with your time are you someone that does six seven hours of screen time on your phone and half of that is just you scrolling through social media why are you actually being very productive with your time and I understand not everyone's gonna have the time to do everything but I certainly believe there's always time in the day it's just got to be priority and if that goal is big enough you will find a way if there's a will there's a way so often or not you have to be organized especially if you've got so many things going up on here and especially if your goals are big as well and you're ambitious you've got to find the time to do that so no excuses this cost me like four pound from amazon it's fucking very cheap it's very easy do it most days and like i said i know what i need to do by the hour and if i follow that it's going to be a good productive day so enough waffling that's how i start my day let's fucking go you can't. You're done, no? I don't want to hear what happened. Cops and Miss Big Off and Jahannam. Sure, man, gave him a serious flash and bro's still trying to go back and pack him. Fed up, verbal, got me fed up. Stepping around, he's oh. the assassin. Baby on board, he bought his mash and fucker. Some head, a post, he tanned. Them man tapping. <laughs> You must think I'm gay sometimes, innit? I do, I do. I know, this sounds so weird. I've done it if I had this into the video, I'd probably get demonetized. But I can actually make some really, like, good suck it. I can make some really good dick sucking noises. But I promise you, I've never sucked a dick in my life, okay? He says. If I could suck my own, I would. Have you tried? I have, yeah. <laughs> Of course I've tried. Like, let's be honest. Lads, lads, come on now. No. Everyone has flipped their legs back and tried doing it. I swear to God, I've only done it when I was younger, okay? I wouldn't be able to do it now because my flexibility is fucking dreadful. <laughs> And I promise you, there'll be something online, yeah? There'll be something online, like a flexibility routine to suck your own dick. I swear to God, no, there'll be something. All right, online. let's check then. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be. I, what I have done is I practiced on the bed. I used to fling my legs back. You know how you mentioned how that stretcher, you bring your legs back in behind That's your head? That's the other way. Oh. That's called the ring. Yeah, well, the opposite way to a ring. What? How to suck your own dick. What? Look, it's even got an article on it. Listen to this article. Come on, you know you've tried. If you have a penis, a mouth, 15 spare minutes and even in what and even a iota of curiosity of you try to see how close you can get to your face to your your words so are that pesky little pecker you carry around in your pants yeah oh, trust me everyone has tried sucking their own dick if you so ain't strange. bruv you need to try yeah try and if you can what are you can do in that situation there like when you actually generally find out you can't i know i can't i've tried it i can't they've actually got tips well, lads, links be down thin. below be thin you need to be lean yeah. you need to loosen up you need to get hard 
and then pick a position. Okay. And get help. <laughs> and get help. Yeah, we'll try and we'll get Babe. Out. We'll record it. Babe, can you just push me a little bit further and try to suck my own dick? Imagine that. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, enough talking about dick and sucking. You're a vapor. Yep. I'm in for deadlifts. You're done now. This is actually the last session I recorded, but I didn't actually upload. <coughs> last time I deadlifted 165 kilos for a set of five. This time I'm gonna do 185. I'm getting fucking six reps. So how many did you do? 100 and 65 for five. And you're going that was three 20. week. That's three weeks ago. No, I'm doing 180 kilos now. But I did, I'm, today I'm gonna do 185. I'm gonna show you guys. You just said you did 165. Yeah, the last time I filmed this, I was doing oh, 165, okay, okay. but I never yeah. uploaded it. So Sorry. I'll put a clip over in the video and I'll show you guys how fucking shit it was. It was poverty set. This time round, back's feeling you know fresh. You're done now. Got a new massage chair. Oh, <laughs> guys, wait till you get. Oh, I've got a fucking massage chair. It's sick. Well, listen to this one. I'm the reason. M loose. It's only drilly for the camera. It's only drilly. Yeah. Let's get a fucking gym, you can. Fucking yeah. Who wants it? Who wants it? His airline, who wants that? Who wants that perfect airline? Look at that. No one. No one wants it. Right, take number two, because my camera decided to not fucking record it properly. That pisses me right off, that does. You know when you just want to train, but you've just want to record stuff. Content creators will know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I've got deadlift today, so before I deadlift, I always like to go on the bike, just to warm up the old legs. Because I think just going into a deadlift and sending it straight away is never ideal. So just a little bit of blood flow into the old legs before we go into the big movements. Always, <coughs> as you can see, still carrying a horrendous cough right now. But we're not letting it stop us. Today's session, deadlift. 180 for a set of seven last time, which was one up from last week. So I'm going to go for 185 today and we're going to test it with like five or six reps. Hopefully it all goes well. I want to get 200 by the end of the year, which I think for me, it's not the strongest out there. Certainly I'll be proud of that for sure. ISO front pull down, two working sets on all the accessory work. One set of eight to 10, one set of 12. 15 and as always I work to the highest rep in that rep range with a certain low as I reach that highest rep range I'll then progress it with weight and that's kind of how we process that cycle extreme row neck single arm plate loaded row times two Terry's pull down and then preacher curl times three dumbbell curl times three got calves at the end but I seem to never do it if I'm honest with you yeah I know terrible isn't it i just get to a point where at the end of the session i just can't be bothered i just want to go home you should do them at the beginning when i got a deadlift i don't want to start off with car boring i want a fucking deadlift you know my mind is in the game for deadlift it's switching that fucking nut on all right phones on do not disturb don't text me don't clients <laughs> clients will be like well fuck this guy then you can text me but i'll reply later listen to a good playlist i'm listening to westlife at the moment getting a little bit emotional with the training it's fucking getting you small little cunt sick of you sick of you meaning me let's do this I'm about to get real disrespectful in this mother. I'm the reason that your man them bleed. You can't style on me. Walk in the dance with vinyl on me. Get us bossed up with a wine on me. Big days locked down, day champion. Get me mine, nigga, lose. Fresh home. You get me dressed in measure. I can deal with them properly, yeah? He's bare up running. Run. Car, if I catch up, I'm a don him. He's holding his waist like, say he's gonna back it. He ain't gonna back it. He ain't on nothing. Whoa. One arm and I reach for the certain. Two hands slap, then I keep it cutting. Slap the bells and the whip are rotten. If you get hit, that's you in a coffin. Have you ever seen a pagan's mother run up her mouth to defend her son? It goes in one ear and straight out the other. Grip on my cutter, it's gonna get long. Whatever, man. Even if I'm outnumbered, I'm still on job. I ain't going out. Okay, just warmed up for my final set. So, how I like to work up to my deadlifts is I'll start off with the bar, just do like some rows, semi deadlift. RDL combination. Then I'll put 60 on the bar and I'll do like 10 to 15 reps with that. Blood flow there, just get the moon pattern going. Then I got to 100, I'll do maybe like five or eight reps. Got to 140, probably do two or three reps. 160, one rep. If I feel like I need to do another, I will. So today I did 170, one rep, and then I'll go into my working set. Preserve my energy for the working set. So the lighter the low, the more repetitions I'll do. Close to that working set, I'll preserve it for when needed. Always chalk. I use this chalk from Amazon. It's called liquid chalk, funny enough. There's no brand to it. I'll give 185 a go today. Hopefully I'll get like or something like that. That's the sort of ultimate aim that I'm looking for with this. Enough talking. We're now going to get my head in my game. Head in my game. Fuck off. Head 
in the game, not in the game, whatever you want to fucking call it. And we're going to give this a good old go. Okay, Georgie boy. Last rep's got always got to be a good rep. Wrong. I am. This close only made for five. Ball got six, my squash in the dong. K1 chopped off the shot on the handle and nearly ended up breaking a mash. What you doing? Why so careless? Stop what you're doing and give me it back. Two shot, two length, three for the back. So I hung out the passenger side and crashed. I'm hanging. <laughs> I thought he was bad, so I flew out the passenger side with my splash. My mask from Tom's got a beam on a hang on, dude. Now I wanna beam on my hang on, dude. And asking Ops if the Ops, if I see that it's Ops, then I really would slap one. All 17 had the belly and back when I wanted the older bro, not the fat one. I'm late for the glad, but I've got the bind, so bro, better stop moaning and just hang on. Stop. So much bind for the hang on. True, say I'm generous, you may as well have one. Ties with the Ops, get you banned with the Ops, so if you got friends over there, don't have no. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I can't lie, I know I shouldn't think like this before my set, but I was going into it saying I haven't got this today, my lower back's a little bit iffy. I got it. I'm well happy, guys. I put something on the screen I did a couple of weeks ago and I was really frustrated. I never posted it because I was a little bit embarrassed to. And that was 165 for a set of five. Now I'm up to 185 for a set of five. So often with deadlift, it's always gonna be there. It isn't gonna be there. We have good days, we have bad days. Consistency is very key. And I'm third week now, I've progressed that in a row. And I'm learning that movement pattern. I'm really investing into my mobility because I'm fucking dreadful. My massage guy tells me, how are you so fucking bad? I'm like, mate, I don't even know. I don't know what the fuck I do. So I'm investing into my massage on a weekly basis and doing stuff at home as well. I fucking hate it's boring as fuck like massage or stretching mobility hate it i'll sit there and i'll fucking overcomplicate in my head like this has got to be perfect i've got to control this back around in a little bit this and that like look if you're safely progressing it it feels good or feels as good as it can just keep fucking going just don't fucking over flapping so when you start over complicating things trust me i've been there i'm like it needs to be perfect it needs to feel like this listen everyone's very different just fucking move the weight, get on with it, crack on with it, have some fun as well. You start overcomplicating these things and sometimes it takes the enjoyment aspect away from it. No, none. His mom's friends with my mama don't give a toss, he's still getting banged on. If you're attending a pagan, drink up, don't stand closely, I might just catch one. In it, with bells and a mash, anyone seen from a car gets whacked. Anyone. Fuck all the talk, I snap, I'm live in the flesh cause I ain't on chat. One got a hit with a shetty and back, the other tried running, got a hit with an axe. Sweat. If I X off one of them juice, he would've got left in a This is my first time touching three plates this off season, so. Probably will be a shit set of like six or seven, but uh, it's all about touching new weights. And if you're doing stuff that you've done before, you will grow. Vicky, I may, I may need a spot from you. Leg off when they got dinged and a boy try wet out. Ask him. Slide to the B, get shot or get out. There's always that you in a gang that talks it tough, but don't wanna step that out. That was yours. One more then. If I can't find him, I'll take his friend out. I'm the reason. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh, that was, that fucking turned Geordie then, the end of that set. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell, like, man. Fucking hell. You could have fucking got someone. That was seven. Seven plus one. First time touching that weight. It was growing. Yeah, it was not too bad. I said to the camera before, you know, when you touch a new weight, it's always a bit shit in it. Fuck me, my voice is good. I should have taken some of that syrup before I came. Fucking sound like I've been vaping for about 10 years. Although it's nearly coming up to a year. You realise that? For me, it's nearly coming up to a year straight of vaping. Stop now. That is prep thing as well. Prep thing, apparently. Fucking aim. Fucking hell, that last rep was shit. I don't know if I count that. You know what, I am, because I fucking went for it and I got three quarters of the way there, so we'll fucking take that boy. In these moments, it's really important to remember that you're always gonna have good sessions, you're always gonna have bad sessions. Sometimes your just head isn't, is it? <laughs> Sometimes your head just isn't in it. You can see just by how you're sitting on the floor and you know looking down and not really focused on the actual sets itself. And it's really important to remember that some sometimes that's fine, but what gets you to that goal is you just keep going. You don't give up. Yeah, and with every, with every low comes a high. And I promise you, next week or the week after, or whatever it may be, will be much better. And you'll look back, even on some of the numbers that you're doing maybe a month ago on the prime piece, that, you know, you're smoking now, you're not even thinking about doing. So it's all about the long game, not from a week to week sort of basis, because if we were progressing every single week, one, unfortunately, that's unrealistic. Two, you're natural. Three, you're 60 kilos. It's just not gonna happen, okay? So yeah. just focus on the bigger picture because when you do achieve your goals and when you do whatever it is, you look back at those moments and think, fuck yeah, I did it. Kept going, you didn't give up. I enjoy it. Yeah. I don't look forward to it. I don't have an um. Like when I was doing figure and I had a split that was like made for upper, it was great. Cause it was like this being ill and also something happened. I've not, like I've done upper once a week. Yep. 
So I'm expecting, like, because my uncle's not tired, I'm expecting to make progressions. But shit. I'm, I'm like one rep up, but that one rep is like a dodgy rep that I don't even count as a rep. Sure. All I would just say I is. I just, just feel like I'm not going to progress on up anymore. Just do the best you can, okay? I don't do one rep shit. I don't do it. I don't do it. I just, I just train like five times a week. I think it's been like a month. I shot one guy like two got chef. Hey, man can't tell me about work out. Brand man down till I run out breath. Section 18, section 20s, section 60s on ends. Officer, I don't know nothing, but it's my works on the MPS. One way to lift you off your feet. The top set, have some fun with it, just move some weight. Second set, control it a little bit more. Just have some fun with it. Because remember why we do this. Training's meant to be fun. We go to the gym because it's fun. And when we put too much pressure on ourselves, like Victoria here, she then all of a sudden gets in a strop when things don't go away. But this is fun. Being here is fun. Moving some weight, yeah, was my form okay? So fucking what? Oh, it was good in your eyes, I thought it was okay. But you're just moving some weight and just having some fun with it, you know? I just came home, need check your boys, ask him with a loss on brand. I don't know how you're my hand, it's missing like Madeline McCann. This Barbie's calling me Abdi Dye in my name, but you're my seven, I had one in a five, no six, it's been going off the pagans. The last time I did five plates on this, I was using steroids. Hopefully, I'll be able to get more than one, but we'll find out. Remember, I was adding, when I was using gear, I was adding a plate each week, like 20 kilo plate each week, and it was great. <laughs> It was just like, what the fuck? He's just like, when's this ever going to slow down? Like, I'm going to be an extender on this at some point soon. But fortunately, I wasn't able to maintain that. But we're on our way back up now. And hopefully, this will move for an average set. Like, I don't expect this to be fucking perfect. This is going to be like a Sam Sulek set. Just moving weight. Hopefully, over time, we'll get better, right? Oh, yep, 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 you fuck up. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a shit set, but I just moved it in it. Don't piss me off. He's dead, let me tick him off. And he's dead, let me tick him off. He's dead too, let me tick him off. How dare you talk in a gang gang when we ching ching and we rinse it off? Big talk gives him my push on body. Like chicken pox. Who's that? Your bro swerving a you. Peek a boo. Wind on the window and ride that broom. Lean and shoot, man. Shoot then ching him. Let's go fishing. But gang still pull back into you. We're moving on to the boring stuff. Biceps. 17. So I gained a one rep on. My top set on the Terry is pulled down. One rep up on the back offset, so yeah, that's all right. Because I added five kilos last week, you know, sometimes you just need to be honest with yourself and realize that it ain't gonna be fucking sunshine and rainbows every single week. Sometimes it's just gonna be gradual progression. One rep, you do that for a year, it's quite a lot of progress, you know? So take that into consideration. Anyway, this is boring as fuck, but I'm gonna still record it. I do probably my favorite exercise is the incline dumbbell bench curl. This one here, I fucking love this one. Like. The pump that I get in my biceps after doing it is pretty fucking mad. And then I move on to a preach girl. So, fucking fantastic, right? Fucking can't wait to watch that, Georgie boy. Oh, yep. <laughs> fucking hell. Fucking hell. Shotgun skull, fucking seven and a half kilos. Fuck me. Oof. Oof. Fucking hell. Like, you don't need ego for this exercise. You can literally curl like 2.5 kilos if you want, and it'll be hard. Fucking hell. Why do I keep doing scale swaxes for?
Yes. <laughs> One of the main reasons having a dog and why we love dogs. Yes, come, 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 come. One of the best feelings in the world. Seeing you go, yes, you, yes, you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, you fucking bitch, you fucking bitch, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I didn't realise Train by JP sold Train by JP pet. This is what we decided to get. So we got this agility, which is basically good for dogs, joints, bones. And then we also got settle which is basically a unwind, relax and rest, calming dog chewable tablet. We've tried giving it to the fuckers. Here we go, let me try again. Mengi? Eat it, eat it. Eat it. She ain't wanting it, so we're just gonna put it in the food. Right, here's how we trick the bastard. <coughs> a little tablet there. A little bit of beef mint, cover it. Look, this is a stupid dog though. Oh, what is this, Mengi? What is this? Go. Oh yeah, good girl. Look, it swallows it. Yes, good girl. Slight adjustment to my post-workout meal in terms of the whey I'm using. So originally I was using Perform Whey. Love it, but I notice after I eat it, I get a bit gassy. Man's farting. Man stinks as well. If your farts stink, that ain't a good sign. Yeah, it's banter. You start giggling like, yeah, look at the smell of my fart. But it ain't healthy. So I've gone for my favorite isolate, which is the Mutant Iso Surge Chocolate Fudge Brownie. Very good. And I've started to notice that since I've incorporated this into my post workout, man ain't stinking like shit. 100 grams of Rice Krispies, 100 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of banana, 40 grams of whey. It's kind of almost like a square bar like a massive square bar I'm just eating right now and it's delicious. That's the adjustments that I made. If you are interested in the, what I'm eating on a train day, make sure you watch my full days of eating on the old channel. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna shut the fuck up, put the camera down, see you in a bit, all right? And we're back. Christ, should have showered. Look at this fucking airline. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. It feels good to pick up the camera again because if I'm honest with you, I sometimes really sort of like overthink in my head what the fuck to post, how should I edit it? Edit it, edit it. And then I remind myself, when was the best my YouTube ever did? And that's when I was just posting shit and just fucking posting it. Like, look at some of the videos three or four years ago. Man didn't care about how the edit looked. Man didn't care about what he said. Man just uploaded. And that is something that I think I need to just do a little bit more of. Anyway, if you do want to use any supplements, Insight Subs, code George10 for 10% off, okay? Look at that little plug at the end. If you've got this far to the video, of course. In the next episode video, whatever you want to call it, we will be talking about drugs. What are you using, you little nutty shit? And we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, please subscribe, and I shall see you guys Sunday. We'll see you Sunday. It could be scam if you heard that gang went dead, you know, pump and gang. Step that line online, and you owe me blood, then you know I get paid on fun, get paid in full when the all get slumped. Bear to skunk, which one should I put in my